should tell us about the the MRI in hypertrophic uh, cardiomyopathy. Good morning. Uh, my name is Reem Ramadan. I'm a fellow at the National Heart Institute and a consultant at uh, Salem International Hospital. Uh, our talk today is about uh, the role of uh, MRI in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or as we call it, HCM. Uh, HCM is an autosomal dominant uh, genetic disorder, as we see in the diagram, uh, of a normal individual, heart of a normal individual, and the heart of a hypertrophic one. Uh, it is characterized by left ventricular hypertrophy that cannot be explained by other abnormal loading conditions. Uh, the wall thickness is greater than 15 millimeter. Normal wall thickness is between 12 uh, and 14, and it is measured uh, during diastole. Uh, it is associated with right ventricular hypertrophy in 15 to 17% of cases. Uh, HCM is the leading uh, cause of sudden cardiac death in infants and teenagers and young adults from arrhythmia. Uh, the history of HCM, there is a combination of genetic and non-genetic modifiers that cause uh, DNA mutation. Uh, as for the histopathology, uh, myocyte hypertrophy occurs and uh, fibrostructure disorientation that result in fibrosis and small vessel disease. As for the pathophysiology, there is, uh, as we said, left ventricular hypertrophy, diastolic dysfunction, uh, LVOT obstruction, and uh, several forms of arrhythmia. Uh, the patient come complaining of dyspnea, chest pain, syncope, palpitations, or simply sudden cardiac death could be the first presentation. As for the morphological subtypes of HCM, the most common type is asymmetric uh, HCM. It accounts for 70% of cases. There is disproportionate enlargement in the ventricular uh, septum. Most commonly, the anteroseptal segment is involved. Uh, as we see here, this is the anteroseptal segment. This is wide blood images, short axis. This is uh, a pre contrast. Uh, the second image, number B, is post contrast after gadolinium enhancement. There is uh, patchy fibrosis, foci of fibrosis at the hypertrophied segments. Uh, septal hypertrophy can be limited to the subaortic level, midventricular level, or apical level. Uh, also, the ratio uh, between uh, the septal thickness uh, to the inferior uh, segment, if it exceeds 1.5, then it is considered hypertrophy. The second type is uh, symmetric or concentric HCM. It is the second most common type. There is uh, diffused left ventricular thickening. It is associated with decrease in the ventricular cavity size. Uh, there is a rather symmetrical increased myocardial wall thickness, as we said before, greater than 15 millimeter, measured during diastole, with no significant difference between uh, the different segments of the LV. As we see in this uh, patient, there is also associated uh, RV hypertrophy in the free wall. Uh, <clears throat> This uh, type of uh, HCM is uh, challenging in diagnosis because um, it should be diagnosed in absence of other secondary causes like hypertension, aortic stenosis, or athletic heart syndrome, as we uh, heard with Dr. Ahmed Kharabish. Uh, this is a diagram for a normal uh, heart, short axis view, and this is a concentric uh, HCM. The third type is uh, apical uh, HCM. Apical HCM is confined uh, to the apex and give a characteristic uh, ace of spades appearance. This is the ace of spades. Also here, the apical wall thickness should exceed 1.3 to 1.5 millimeter. This, the other type is mid-ventricular hypertrophy. Here, the hypertrophy is localized in the mid-myocardium, uh, myocardial segment, as we see in uh, diagram C. And this give a characteristic hourglass or dumbbell-shaped appearance. This type of hypertrophy uh, associated with high-risk uh, patients, are present in high-risk patients, because uh, if it is associated with apical aneurysm, uh, it possibly lead to ventricular tachyarrhythmia or systemic thrombosis. The last type is the mass-like HCM or tum-effective HCM. 
there is exuberant focal thickening of a segment of the LV wall simulating a cardiac mass. And also, uh, differentiating it from a cardiac uh, tumor is challenging. Uh, we look for the contractility if it contracts with the myocardium during systole and diastole, if, it, if it's iso intense uh, to the myocardium in T1 and T2, uh, presence of first pass enhancement, presen presence of patchy uh, mid ventricular type of uh, delayed enhancement. Uh, this all goes with um, HCM type. Uh, absence of calcification on uh, CT. Uh, burned out phase is end stage phase of HCM. It is characterized by a reduced uh, systolic function below uh, 50%. It is an end stage uh, systolic dysfunction where the ejection fraction uh, is below 50% associated with progressive heart failure and atrial fibrillation. Uh, there may be also uh, a cavity dilatation and wall thinning. Uh, and associated with poor prognosis. Um, CMR in this uh, case will show cardiac dysfunction, extensive late gadolinium enhancement, indicating replacement fibrosis or myocardial scarring, uh, wall motion abnormalities, and decreased ejection fraction, as we said before. Uh, there, there are common associations that occur with um, uh, HCM, and they include uh, number one, LVOT obstruction, which is present in 70% of cases, and it is diagnosed when the gradient is above 30 millimeter mercury, and gradient here stands for, uh, accounts for the degree of stenosis. If the gradient exceeds 50, then th there is a hemodynamic significance. Uh, most commonly, obstruction occurs at the basal interventricular septum. It may be associated with uh, systolic anterior motion of the mitral valve leaflets, which will increase the obstruction at this level. Also, there may be papillary muscle hypertrophy, which lead to obstruction in the mid cavity. The second association is uh, SAM or systolic anterior motion of mitral valve leaflet, uh, which increases the LVOT obstruction and so decreases the coronary and systemic outflow. This is a, a CINE images or movie images for, this is a three chamber view showing showing apical aneurysm, uh, apical HCM, sorry. This is uh, apical HCM hypertrophy in the apex. And there is normal uh, uh, apparatus of the mitral valve This is another CINE images showing a abnormal uh, septal wall motion, abnormal septal motion of the mitral valve that causes uh, LVOT obstruction. Uh, other signs include uh, mitral regurge, left atrial dilatation, papillary muscle abnormalities like hypertrophy, direct insertion to anterior leaflet of mitral valve, and to internal displacement. As for the basic sequences of uh, CMR in HCM, there is the CINE steady state free precession, a four chamber with two chamber with three chamber views for structural assessment and motility evaluation. There is the uh, CINE short axis tag for volume and functional evaluation. Uh, LVOT view for uh, to rule out LVOT obstruction and SAM. There is the flow sequence in plane with through plane for uh, LVOT obstruction presence and location and peak velocity quantification. And the inversion recovery fast gradient echo or late gadolinium enhancement assessment to detect uh, presence and extension of fibrosis. In a case of HCM, we have to define whether it is obstructive or non-obstructive HCM. In case of obstructive HCM, we have to define the level of obstruction, if it is subaortic or midventricular. In non-obstructive HCM, we have to define if it is, has normal systolic function or impaired systolic function. This is a schematic representation of two types of obstructive HCM. Uh, number A is subaortic. There is systolic opposition of the mitral valve leaflets against the septum during systole which increase the obstruction. In uh, view number B, there is muscular opposition 
in the mid cavitary area or the mid ventricular area which produce mid ventricular obstruction Uh, CMR, with its capabilities in evaluating cardiac morphology and function, has emerged as a uh, technique uh, help in diagnosis and uh, phenotypic characterization of HCM. It is uh, superior to echo in identifying areas of uh, segmental hypertrophy, which are yani, not visualized or underestimated by echo, like the anterolateral and apical segments. Uh, CMR also plays an important role in risk stratification. And so there are negative prognostic indicators in high-risk patients. We have to know high-risk patients include if the left ventricular wall thickness exceeds 30 millimeter, if the gradient across the LVOT exceeds 30 millimeter mercury, uh, delayed, extensive delayed wall enhancement, which represent myocardial fibrosis or scarring, decreased ejection fraction less than 50%, which is called the burnt out phase associated with cavity dilatation or muscular thinning, and presence of left ventricular apical aneurysm, which is common with the mid-ventricular type. The advanced sequences of uh, CMR in HCM include the T1 mapping sequence, the pre and post contrast, to detect the, uh, the, the extent of fibrosis and extracellular volume evaluation. There is also the uh, tagging sequences and feature uh, uh, tracking for dynamic myocardial deformation and strain assessment, and perfusion sequences for detection of myocardial ischemia. Uh, there, are two, uh, there are important uh, two key points. Uh, the positive predictive power of uh, late gadolinium enhancement on CMR is low because a great percentage, about 60% of uh, HCM patients have uh, late gadolinium enhancement. So it is the extent rather than the presence of late gadolinium enhancement that indicates the risk of sudden cardiac death. Uh, number uh, two, key point number two, that uh, SAM and LVOT obstruction are not specific for HCM. They can be seen in other diseases. Uh, as for the treatment of HCM, it depends on the severity of the disease, and the main aim of treatment is to relieve symptoms and prevent uh, sudden cardiac death in high-risk patients. A base of treatment is to control a heart rate, avoid extreme physical exercise, uh, giving medications like beta blocker. Other treatment options include uh, septal myomectomy or septal ablation or uh, implantation of ICD. To conclude, uh, cardiac MRI imaging is useful for making the diagnosis of HCM and identifying the phenotypes of HCM because of its ability to show the cardiac morphologies clearly. It can also contribute to risk stratification because of its accurate measurement of hypertrophy and detection of high-risk phenotypes, identification of myocardial fibrosis by late gadolinium enhancement, in addition, uh, CMR is useful for treatment, planning, and follow-up in patients with HCM, and, and so it should be uh, applied in uh, cases with suspicious HCM in clinical practice. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Arim. Yeah, for any questions for uh, Dr. Arim?